Oh, Rick's buying? Trying, but you know, every time I try to buy something from this guy. I thought you were buying for us. He just, let, he just, he tries. I give him that. Oh, well, uh, can I get a new toolbox, Kevin, on Rick's account? So no Matco. Fixing ratchets on the snap-on truck, huh? Say what? No, no Matco fixing ratchets on the snap-on truck? No. Why not? We could trade in our, our Mako ratchets or snap on them. I, I warranty any, any company stuff for brakes. Oh, look at that, a digital. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at all the orange socket trays, bro. Yeah, neighbor. Who's my neighbor? They weren't so thick of a rack. I would get one. Some engine codes. You have that long ratchet for me? That one's not ratchet. Are you? Which one? The fucking swabble. The, the quarter inch swabble? Right here. No, no, not quarter, the other one. Oh, 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 you want the, the, the universal one, mm -hmm. three eighths? 13450. That one? Well, here's your pliers, bro, that you need. I'm gonna hold off on this. <laughs> I want some. Them. I lost two of them, dude. I want some, like, little radiator ones. Get him eventually. Look at this 3.8. Oh, this is a swivel, bro. Right in the center. Did you keep the boss's uh, credit card? Because he said we can buy some stuff on his stuff. <laughs> These are like 60 bucks. Um, what's the number? 47 ACF. And he, he goes through midlife crisis and uh, he likes to spend, so. One last time, dude. One last time. Oh, uh, you're gonna buy some for the last time? And then after this, I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight. If I lose this one. Harbor Freight? If I lose this one, fucker. <laughs> Do that digital one, huh? Well, it's the exact same one I got. Mm -hmm. Two eighty. Two dollars and eighty cents. This is the mid. This is the mid. This is the baby. Ten dollars in candy. Ten dollars worth of candy. What's up, you two? <coughs> Big champ over here. We just got off the truck. We tested the new, the new light, 2100 lumens. Comes in that big box. You got a little charger, so you can charge just the light, or it comes with the cord, which I will show you. Um, to when you're using underneath the hood. We got a new hat as a giveaway for buying the light. Telling you guys, your Snap-on dealer does not take care of you when you make purchases. Don't buy from them. All right, this is the extra tech. February 7th through the 31st. Flyer. We got some gloves, some glasses, some, I think it's a welding box. Yeah, organizers. Of the welding dent pooling body shop stuff automotive we got some upholstery trim tools for 78 bucks which ain't really a 
it isn't a bad price at all because just one is $43. That's the bad boy right there. Big Billy, we have one of those in the shop. We're using for alignments. These right here are lifesavers. $48, that's pretty cheap. Next wiring, some welders. Let's skip that. I have a workable workstation cart. That's pretty nice. I ordered one off Amazon for a hundred bucks. I'll leave the link below. Uh, welding jacket, welding helmets, some grinding tools, some new bat. Oh, those are the new battery ones. Oh wow! I even get amazed sometimes too when I go on there and I look at some tools. And I'm like, man, look at that. It's nice. Especially me and my coworker, man. Big snap on fanatics. Some cutting wheels. I don't know if I'll spend three hundred and forty-two dollars on a cutting wheel. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you can usually check Facebook Market, Craigslist. You can always find these for pretty cheap. It's an air tool. So got warranty. Some ratchets. I've seen this one on the truck. Um, he really. Didn't have much information on it, so I lost my interest. Now this right here is uh, what I call beneficial and a waste of money. Why? Because a power probe does nearly all of this for a fraction of the price. But for 715, that's pretty good. Infrared, universal adapter. Here's the light I just got. It was 320, got it for 288. An orange, magnetic, new lights. This one's 4,000 lumens. Sorry for the lighting, guys. For 269, I have this toolbox part lighting, 250 lumens. And these ones are $54 or $84. Four for 700 lumens and that's that's the one i've been working with this, this little one it's been working out great for me um battery usually lasts on high lasts about um i want to say an hour max on high and then you have to charge it again um but it's got different settings i don't know if you can see that there goes low to high and I think on low is like 250 works pretty good some go jack some fans I had this one I loved it but the light goes out pretty fast some ratchets some trays you seen the one I had on the truck some pork wrenches. Want some trays. Some magnetic ones. These are nice. Everybody here in the shop has some. I honestly, I mean, I go with my little blue point one. Does fine. As you can tell, I like the color orange. Why? Because the color orange, you cannot lose it in a box. And everybody's been asking me, why do you only have a few certain amount of sockets? In, in today's automotive industry, you don't need every socket. You have your normal 12 points, 6 points. Part of the deal. Got a free hat. Put it to use. It's a little faded. It's going to be a good hat. Yeah, we got a new light. Part number E. C-U-H-D 2180. We're going to give it a run. That bad boy is pretty bright. Does the whole thing swivel or no? 
How does it stay though? It's just this here. Yeah. Oh shit, that's bad, bro. <laughs> yeah. 2,400 lumens or 21. Did you buy this? <laughs> <laughs> it's got the little comfort grips too for the, for the hood, which is nice. So yeah, like I was saying, in the automotive industry, you don't really need every socket. I'm gonna I'm tell you that hands down right now. I had the big toolboxes, 76 inches to, I mean, the huts, the locker, all that. 95% of the time, you can get through with just having the basic sockets. What I do here, I do all inspections, R and R motors, R and R all parts. I only, only specify in certain parts. So I don't really need every tool. Like for right now, I'm diagnosing a seat. That's why I'm in the back seat of a car. I'm not in the back seat of a cop car, but I'm in the back seat of a car. So, but yeah. Um, so I only keep a very small amount of sockets. I buy more power tools. I, I make sure that all my my wrenches and my pliers are good brand, not the cheap brand, because I don't want to slip and you know bust my finger. You know, last like four inches of skin there. Um, you know stuff like that so i spend good money and plus everybody knows snap-on tools is the gucci of mechanics so you can't go wrong with it and i mean for me I, i'm a snap-on addict i gotta admit it and to everybody watching my channel you gotta be a snap-on addict to even click the link so um go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and like my video Put, put, drop something in the comment man i like reading it i know i don't got a lot of subscribers and viewers but hey man I, I, i'm gonna try this thing out you know what i mean so let me know what's happening until next time stay blessed god bless big champ is out